Playing for Coach was a great experience for all of us. Uh, I mean, Coach prepared us for the next step. Um, I think 19 of us ended up going and playing at four-year colleges. Um, Coach was demanding. Coach wanted it his way or the highway, so um, respect him totally. Playing for Coach Myers at, at Santa Rosa JC was like the ultimate compet playing for the ultimate competitor and a man who competed at the highest level with integrity and wanted to win, taught you how to win, but like I said, was a man of honor and did it with with integrity. And um, you had to be you had to be that type of competitor to play for him and to get along with him. And from the first day that uh, I met him and and showed up at the JC. Um, I like to compete, and I think uh, we got along well because of that. Ronnie Myers was definitely a huge influence on my life and my ball playing. I was lucky enough to coach with him for a year at JC, which was awesome, but the funnest part was coaching with him on our Little League team. When Ronnie would tell me, hey, I can't believe you get so intense about this, but when, when we're at the TOC, he's yelling at umpires. So that's Ronnie Myers, most competitive guy I've ever met. Student, uh, faculty, coach, AD, um, uh, great alumni. Uh, I think this is a great, uh, great honor for him. And uh, uh, we're real happy, real happy for him. You either figured out how to compete and, and figured out how to win, or you heard about it nonstop. And so any kind of true competitor who would get tired of hearing that uh, figures out how to, how, to, uh, how to win and start competing. And I think that was huge for me. I know uh, going forward, once I left the JC, I was able to, uh, compete my way through a lot of the uh, situations to get into the big leagues. And uh, I know I, I learned all that there. The biggest thing Ronnie did for, for the kids that he coached, and me personally, is he helped you grow up. All he expected of you is to play hard, you show up, you play hard, you put your work in. He was really, he wanted to win like we all did, but that wasn't the most important thing. The biggest thing that in Ronnie's mind was helping kids grow up and continue the love of the game and hopefully play further than Santa Rosa JC. One of the things with Ron is you will never be, he will never be outworked. He's very competitive uh, in it, in everything. Uh, including cards, uh, but he's uh, uh, he worked his way up the all league. The guy's uh, kind of a legend there at Fresno. Our sophomore year, I think we had lost 11 in a row, and coach just said, "All right, you're just going to run all day." I mean, we ran all day, and we absolutely hated it. It was like looked at each other and said, hey, "We don't want to lose anymore. Let's go." So because we didn't want to run. And uh, so after that, we went on a pretty good winning streak and uh, made the playoffs. Everything Ronnie did, he did 100%. And he's totally dedicated to what he did. The golf thing at that age, I'm not sure about that. I don't think I could do that. But of course, he's super competitive, so he did it. I hired Ron to be the Dean of Ag and Culinary and Natural Resources uh, because uh, we were between deans there and I needed somebody to rebuild the team. And so believe it or not, uh, Farmer Ron became uh, the Dean of, um, of Agriculture and did a wonderful job uh, as we were hiring a new Dean. In fact, most of the faculty said, hey, can Ron stick around for another year? Uh, they really uh, appreciated what he did and, and team building. And last Lastly, what a lot of people don't realize, uh, not only did he play baseball and basketball here, he was the oldest college golfer in the nation. Uh, at least I'm going to say in the nation. We could look it up. But 63 years old, he made the golf team here at the junior college and was a counting score the whole season. Um, some of us will tease him and say it's because we didn't have a very good golf team. Uh, but I think it's because of Ron's work ethic. I do know the stock in Tylenol went up uh, immensely during that time. I think to, to hold guys accountable, to tell the truth, to not make excuses and not let guys make excuses is what I try to, what I learned from him. And it's the same thing I try to do as a coach in my career up here. I think that players ultimately uh, the right players respect you for that and um, learn from it. And that's certainly what what I did with Coach Myers. I, I respect the man uh, like my dad. A year I coached with Ron, 
we got beat by Sac City early in the year. And I remember a talk he had with the team. And after that, we just went lights out. I mean, he, he chewed a little butt, but he got his point across. He, he made these kids believe that they were as good as the team they were playing, which was at the time, Sac City was the best team in the state. So he, he made his kids believe. And I think we ended up winning over 30 games that year for the first time in Santa Rosa JC baseball history. Wow. Ronnie, you, uh, you're a great friend. You're a great colleague. This is so well deserved, um, uh, and I can't wait to uh, to one day beat you on the golf course. Uh, I'm gonna boat run you uh, one of these days, and it'll probably be the day that you can't walk anymore. But uh, that'll be it. But I'm so proud of you and and, and happy for you. And uh, this is so well deserved. And um, all uh, all the best to you. What he did for my son helped him with his career. It was, I think it was 2013, coach made a call down to a Tony Arnrich, who's assistant at Cal Berkeley, and said, you have to come watch this young man play. Um, so Tony showed up and then Cal Berkeley has offered Andrew a scholarship to play there. And from there, whatever went on. Um, and I appreciate coach for doing that for me. Um, couldn't ask for a better guy. I wish I could be there. I'm so proud of you. I appreciate you. I love you. I think you absolutely are a Hall of Famer. Um, and I think that the JC was lucky to have you there as an athlete, as a, a staff member, and as a dean and everything you've done. I think you, you, you should be so proud. I know you are proud. And um, I think it's great that you're going into this. And I hope you're having a great night and wish I was there. Ron, uh, all I can do is uh, say thank you. Thanks for everything. Um, Big influence on my life, love coaching with you, love playing for you, and I'm glad we're friends. Coach deserves to be in the Hall of Fame here. I think it's a great honor, and I know him personally, and I know he is very excited about this accomplishment, so good for him. The time he put in, the, the dedication, and, and the longevity. I mean, Ronnie was here a long time, and like I say, everything he did, he did 100%. He did the right thing. Ron Myers is a Hall of Famer. Um, as a person, as a family man, as a father, a grandfather now, uh, as a student athlete, as a colleague, he uh, exemplifies uh, um, um, a true bear cub in that uh, his, dedica his dedication is second to none and his work ethic is, is just the same. Uh, so well deserved and uh, uh, a great person Great coach, great colleague, great friend.